like, okay, mama just toughen up and say, yo, my girl, come out I'm a seat. Oh, I'm not care, I don't want to see, I don't want to see, girl, wait till I want to do this. I'm not exaggerating at all. I am not, I'm a wish I could exaggerate. I'm a wish. I wish I could exaggerate. Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to do a story time. Um, I don't know what I'm going to title this video. I've been thinking about what I'm going to title this video for the past 50 hours and I still have no idea. But you guys will be seeing the title down below or before you watch the video. So yeah, never prepared for a video. I know. I still have videos coming out though. So only just subscribe to my channel. So like, comment, and subscribe. And mega pause like a bit for to do that. I'm just like a pause for like a second for to do it. Not not a second. I'm giving five seconds. Okay, so before I die from heat stroke, let's get straight into the video. So this was a couple years back. I can't remember when exactly. Like two or three years ago, I think. Um, I was in America about to board the plane to come back to Jamaica. So it was me alone and my, my heart did I like, almost reach out a girl because if you don't know your girl have I don't know anxiety. Every time I'm about to board the plane, I just always think that I'm going to board the wrong plane and then I'm going to end up in France. Even though France is a nice place but your girl got anxiety issues back to the story time so i walked inside the plane and i was trying to find my seat and say my seat number was like 35b so i walk until i saw 35b 35b kind of so like brazier size i found my seat number 35b brazier size and i saw this lady in my seat and i was like should i tell her that she's in my seat or should i just go find another seat but that other seat probably somebody else's seat and then with that in somebody else's seat and then that would have caused probably problem so i was like okay mama just toughen up and say yo my girl come out i'm a seat which we never do because I'm not like that and I don't need to be like that I saw him in my seat and I was like excuse me um you sure that's your seat and then I'm like I'm just like pray for she say like oh this is not my seat oh I'm not gonna find my seat that didn't happen the lady was like yeah man I might see this I might see it I might see this I can't shout right now but this lady was shouting she was loud extremely loud some people would call that ghetto others will call that i don't know something i don't know but i'll leave it up to you to decide what you will call that i was like so i have 32b and that i was like looking at the the ceiling to show her that yeah this is 32 and b a b c so it's like Oh, I'm not care. I don't want to see. I don't want to see, girl. Wait, I don't want to do this. I don't want to. So it was like, okay, okay, uh, okay. So she get up and she sit in the seat beside me. I actually got the window seat, so I don't know if it's A or C. I think it's A. It no matter. I sat at the window now. This lady sat beside me. It was two seats. Only it's not three seats in a row, it was just two freaking seats. And the lady sat right beside me. I'm like, this is gonna be a long ride. And before the plane took off, I took out a gum to you know eat so my ears not get cock up. Three gum was in the pack, and mind you, I had that gum for a while. The gum was sweating, and because of that, the the paper that the gum was in was wet. The paper was white and when the gum started sweating, the paper turned clear so you could have see the gum through the paper. So I took out one of the gum and I put it in my mouth and started chewing. Out of nowhere. Can get one of your gum? Okay, I'm like, sure, but I have this gum from a long time. I don't know if you still want it because the bag is cut. And I don't even get to finish explain myself. I was like, the paper for the bag, it's wet because I had the gum from... You can't give me you can't, you can't give me my gum, the gum man. You can't give me. So I just took out one and I hand it to her. I'm not exaggerating at all. I am not I'm a wish I could exaggerate. I'm a wish. I wish I could exaggerate. I gave her the gum and yeah, she did it chill and she talk a lot. 
not to me she was talking to a lady on the other row and a lady in the back i forgot to tell you but before the plane drive off the before the plane fly off she was sitting on the chair not sitting she was kneeling on the chair she was facing the back of the chair so that she could talk to somebody at the back of the plane this lady was shouting she had so many friends i don't even know how she has so many friends on the plane when usually no one know anybody um and the chance of you knowing a lot of people on the plane is very small so i was like Probably it's like a group of them come or something and she know a lot a group she know her friends them so it's like a group and them scatter around the plane. I don't know. Alright, so the plane fly off. I was eating my gum, gave her one, she was eating her gum and she was talking to the lady beside our room. So the lady so the lady ordered some type of alcohol, I don't know. So say the lady that is sitting beside of me named Ghetto. And the lady that she was talking to me what? And the lady that she was t why the place looks so like i'm sorry that the place was getting so dark the sun kind of going but said the lady beside of me and ghetto the lady in the other room name I, uh, no i'm not gonna say ashley because i know ashley uh why am i my, my head think about names i said the person's name Mary. Let me give you like the age of the person. I know I'll go all over the place with this story, but you all get what me I say. Ghetto was about like probably 30 something years old. Mary was probably like, she looked like she could be 40. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I have to adjust this every five seconds. Let me change Mary's name to how she look. Classy. Okay, so back to the story. So Ghetto was the lady that was sitting beside of me. And Classy was the lady that was sitting in the other row of me and Ghetto. So Ghetto was talking to the to Classy on the other row. So Classy was ordering some type of alcohol because she was having a good conversation with Ghetto. She was like, okay, might as well just buy her some of that alcohol because we having a good conversation. Let's chill on the plane. So she, she was like, you, you want some? And Ghetto was like, what? I'm gonna have no money for that. Classy was like, and I'm asking you, do you want some? And Ghetto was like, me not have no money for that. I can't act Ghetto at all. I can't act Ghetto, but imagine a Ghetto person. Classy was like, I am buying it for you. Do you want some? Ghetto was like, oh, I could have said that on time. Yeah, man, I want some. I can't say no. Then she bought her the alcohol and she drink bought her another one and she drink it. I was like there chilling, you know. I'm um, just minding my own business until out of nowhere, I hear someone choke on a gum, and then that person asks me for another gum. And that person is Ghetto. So Ghetto choke on the gum. She was like, swallow my gum. We can get one next one. And that was my last one that I gave to her. I gave her the gum. I just started chewing on it. She started. Continue, she continued talking to to classy, drinking alcohol and talking, make the whole plane error and all of that. So now we got a paper, I can't remember the paper name, a form to fill out. When she said the, the air hostess started issuing out the form, she was like, I left my glasses on the dresser. I'm not even there. Really parent of mine, still. Actually, she keep on repeating it and she turned to me and said, you know, I'm gonna let my glasses for my dresser. And I said, oh, I'm never know. So you need the glasses? I'm like, yeah, man, I need it. I can't see it. I can't, can't see it. I'm not have it. Yeah, man, I need it. I'm mean, like, so what, what are you going to do? She said, I don't know, you know, because I can't fill out no paper if I can't see it. Your hostess gave us both paper now. And I started filling out mine and she 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 said to the ear hostess that I left my glasses on the dresser, I can't fill out no paper. Then the ear hostess let her know that she has to fill out this paper because when she goes into the I can't remember that place. When she goes into the some part of the airport airport in Jamaica, she has to give the people, the person that paper. I don't remember if I me ask or if I she ask. But one of the two we asked to fill out the paper for her. So, so I ended up filling out the paper for her. So I was asking her some questions. I was just reading exactly what what was off the paper. I was like, "What is your place of residence?" And she was like, "Me, my dad." I'm gonna say, "Where you live? Like, which parish you live? What is your address?" And she said, "Oh, just put just put Portmore." 
and she found out where I live because I had to put my hand on the paper. So she was like, oh, the two of us live at the same place. And I was like, oh, cool. Okay. So I filled out her paper and then we are cool. She was talking to Classy. She was talking to me. She was talking to people in the back and everyone. So, so out of nowhere, she asked me, how am I going to reach home? So I said, um, my father is going to pick me up. She so was like, oh, but the two of them the same place. They can ask him for if he can carry on. And I was like, okay, I'ma ask him, but I am not sure if he's okay with that because you know, strangers in his vehicle. I don't think anyone will be okay with that. But I'll ask him just to see how well he would say about it. So like, alright, no problem. You ask him, man. I make me know. Try to wait until I come off the plane. Cause I never use my, I turn off my phone. Like me and one of them people believe it. If your phone on, y'all y'all go crash. I have to wait until I come off the plane and see him to ask him. I'm sorry for the lighting. It's just terrible. I was there thinking. I'm like my father. Um. I, oh, okay, my father is not going to be okay with carrying this lady. So yeah, I come off the plane and I was standing at the luggage area for my luggage to come. Don't know what I called me though. And she was there standing beside me like the lady following me off the plane. She walked beside me off the plane into the, that luggage area. I was like, this lady really, I make sure so she not leave my side. So I not leave her when my father come. I was like, that's good. I never leave her still because we can't do that. So I was there thinking, I'm like, oh, jeez, I'm going to take my father. I got with carrying people and I in vehicle like that and I like you know trust people like I mean <laughs> I don't, but I'ma just say something to her. So I was like I highly doubt that my father would be willing to carry you. But and then by the time not we get to finish her message she she was like alright alright me ask my friend no man me ask my friend then like thank God <sighs> and I said you sure she was like yeah man I said you're you really sure she was like, yeah, let me ask him, me ask him, no problem, no problem, all right, thanks. And she walked walk off, and that was the end of that. I never see that lady up to this day, and I was like, I never forgot that day. That was an interesting moment of my life. Yeah, it was pretty interesting. I know the lighting gone bad, but this is the end of the video, so yeah, now for continuously bad lighting, and I hope this lady don't watch my video. I hope. And if she watch it, I hope she don't remember that day. Because my talk about her, I'm, she can't find me because me. Anyways, <laughs> this is the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching my video. If you like this video, literally like it, comment, subscribe. And you'll see me in my next video. Peace. I don't know what was that.